Hello everyone, in this uh, tutorial from MyDAS GTS NX as a software for geotechnical engineering uh, application we are going to talk about uh, how to model uh, sheet pile uh, in 2D dimension uh, because it's a very common case in uh, buildings, constructions and marines so we are going to start this tutorial with creating a new model as we can see here, you can start to adjust the uh, units and you can adjust the uh, model type if it's 3D or 2D and you choose uh, the gravity direction, I choose it in Y direction and this is my screen I can start to adjust here the grids so I'm gonna make the grid 1 meter and I will say apply so this will be my grid and I will start to construct here this is our di my dimension this is 20 meters and this is enough so here I will go to geometry and I will start to create a rectangular and the domain will be 40 meter by 20 meter depth and the sheet pile depth will be uh, 12 will be uh, uh, penetrated uh, penetrating um, three meters uh, of the layer so that will be enough here so I can say this is my initial uh, pro uh, domain and I will start to create a line here to simulate the pile it will be uh, uh, the, uh, the depth will be 10 meter and I will divide uh, this into three layers so this is the first layer and this is the second layer it will be clay and as we can see here the penetration like we can divide this we can make them four layers like as this will be two meter layers of clay then we can start to divide or we can make imprint so we go here to imprint and we select here and we can start to say uh, uh, curves and we select everything here uh, but before we can imprint we can divide these layers as we can see here so we can go here to divide and we'll divide surface and we'll divide surface by those three lines and we will choose the direction to be in this direction and we say apply then I will start to show this and I will choose uh, these layers and I will go to divide again so this is divide and I will choose those three surfaces and I will divide by edge and this is my edge and I will choose the direction to be this direction again and I say apply so now we already divided them into phases so the bridge the dredging for the sheet pile will be um, until this uh, depth until depth uh, 7 meters so or we can make it until depth 1 me, uh, 6 meters and it will penetrate 1 meter in clay and another 3 meters in this uh, layer so we will go here to divide and we will make the dredging here into 3 layers so we will go here to draw this line like the first dredging will be 3 meters and this will be the a second so this is the first dredging second and third so I will go here to divide one more time and I will choose this uh, choose this surface sorry 
in 2D surface and I will choose the tools to be these tools and I will choose this line and I will choose this line and I will divide uh, in this direction and I will say apply so this will be the uh, our sta uh, our uh, layers now I will go here to uh, imprint and I will select everything here curves I will select everything and I will select all curves and I will choose the shortest direction and I will say apply then I will save my model to be here for example and I will say save then I will go to mesh and I will start to define my material to be isotropic I will define the sheet pile as steel sheet pile so the material will be steel and this is 2.1 E8 and Poisson ratio to be 1 8 and or let's make it 1 3 fine leave it as it is unit weight it will be 7 8 and it doesn't matter here 7 8 and we say apply then I will define more column for the top sand like the first layer here will be sand then clay then sand then another uh, then uh, sand so I will have three different layer top sand medium sand like medium clay and this is base sand so for the top sand it will be like a backfill here behind the sheet pile and the models of elasticity will be 40 mega pascal and the unit weight will be 19 and for the porous it will be 19 and for the non-linear parameter we will take this as 2 and there is a reason why we can't decrease this more or less than 0.2 for numerical uh, problems we explain this our in our geotechnical engineering course uh, and the friction angle is gonna be 34 and we call this uh, backfill sand and then I will go here to simulate the clay and the clay will be 5000 5, this will be 16.5 here will be 16.5 and non-linear this will be uh, 25 medium clay and this will be 0 and we will say apply finally base sand and it will be and it will be uh, as we can see it will be 5000 uh, it will be uh, 45 mega pascal and this will be 19.5 for the gamma and this is 19.5 and here it will be 0.2 and the friction angle will be 36 and I will add the delinquency angle to be 6 and I will say ok so this is my uh, main material then I go to properties I define 2D material for the uh, back fell sand and I choose the property to be back fell then clay and the material will be clay finally base sand and the base will be base sand and I say apply and close for the sheet pile I will choose it to be 1D element and it will be beam element I will call it sheet pile and uh, the spacing will be each, every one meter and the section will be rectangular and the P 
will be 1 meter and h will be 0.4 uh, meter or 0.35 meter for example and I say OK and I say apply cancel and cancel then I save my model then I already arranged everything now now I go to the step of controlling seeds so I will add here controlling to control the mesh size so this will be here the size of meshing here will be half meter and down here it will be like let's go back again here let's go here first to hide all the curves and we just keep the surface so now I choose everything here I choose this too and I say make the interval 0.5 and I say apply so this is our mesh so I go here to 2D mesh and I will start to choose uh, this layer and it will be mesh to 0.5 from backfill sand and we say top top or we can choose it one by one there is a way to modify this later but let's take it one by one so we call this uh, right backfill and we say apply this one will be D1 bridging one and we say apply this is D2 and we say apply as we can see all the meshing here are connected together so this is for clay and I say write clay and the same 0.45 and here will be D3 and apply and this will be embedment uh, one and I say apply and this will be um, base one and it will be base sand and I say apply and finally here I will choose this as base and the size will be one meter and I say apply as we can see here this is the arrangement of the meshing like we can see here it's gonna be 0.5 and it will be increasing up to one I can go here to show by property as we can see this is our steps now I can go to static analysis and I can add constraints O2 apply then I will go back we didn't mesh the sheet pile there are two ways to mesh the sheet pile I will go to extract the sheet pile until this uh, depth so who will ask me on mesh so I will choose this nodes and I will choose this element and I will choose the material to be sheet pile and I will call it sheet pile and I will say apply then cancel now if I logged here at the meshing I created everything now now we start to add the loads so will gravity so gravity load here gravity and I say apply finally I add the life load it will be here and we will add 10 uh, kilonewton meter as life fluid and we say apply uh, finally here we go to construction stages and we add the first construction stage 
we say active show active as the first case is the initial and the most important one and at this case I will add all the material except the sheet pile and I will add the boundary condition and I will add the gravity load and I say save we have to clear the displacement and I say save and I call this initial next I will start to add the sheet pile and I say add sheet pile at this stage I add a sheet pile and I say save then next I start to add to remove dredging one as we can see here we'll start to deactivate it and we call it D1 then D2 we deactivate D2 then D3 and we deactivate D3 and we say save and finally life load and we add the life load and we say save and close and this will be our stages and add as this case I will go choose the solution to be construction stage and I call it one and there is no water and we have to choose the stage for the initial is the first and we will apply k node condition uh, there is a difference between the BEQ node conditions and the gravity uh, conditions uh, as we mentioned in the course now I can start to run this model and it will take some moments now after the end of the run we can see the total warning is zero we have no problem we go here to result and we start to see our displacement we are interested in the lateral displacement as we can see here we can show this is fringed and we can show the deformation and we can control the uh, view of the deformation here we can make it actual deformation and we can show the maximum and the minimum values and we can see here that the maximum deformation here is about one centimeter uh, so, uh, so uh, or about nine centimeters sorry almost ten centimeters with all loads we can see here the development of the uh, the cases we can see here different stages we can come here and we can show the different cases here we can see the vertical deformation in all cases and after we put the pile we can see everything here we can see here the moment in the pile by showing the pile only and we go here to show the uh, beam beam forces here and this is the moment sorry this is the bending moment as we can see this is a cantilever so the moment up there is zero and the moment increase until it reach to maximum value of 277 uh, kilonewton meter let's remove this run and let's show what if we added an anchor so we can simulate the anchor with different ways but before we do this uh, just remember that okay we can show here we open Excel and we can come here to bring this results again and we can come to the last case and we show here the lateral deformation or the moment let's see the pending moment in different cases to compare between them 
So here I'm just showing this and I want to see the bending moment. So I will go here to extract and I will show the beam element force bending moment in y direction and I will get it from the last case node or element so I select everything and arrange them and this is the table so now I will take this and I will go here to Excel and I will start to add these values and I will start to bring these values here and I will say make them general so this is the uh, length of the bile let's draw this like this this is a moment as we can see on the pile and the maximum value here is 277 let's go back here and start to add interface first because before we add um, before we add another uh, anchor so we will show everything because we run our first model without interface we'll go to mesh and we go to interface element so we will uh, add inter line interface so we will add line interface here and we will choose wizard we will reduce this to 0.5 make it 0.6 okay we know what is the difference between reduction factor and virtual sickness and we can see from boundary 1d element so I'm going to choose uh, from beam element trust beam so I will go here and I will choose this one and I will say apply wizard okay and I will say apply cancel and this is our interface if we went back here to material we'll find that he created an interface and the uh, properties are redu uh, reducted by 0.5 now if we went back here to uh, stages I will go here but there is a problem here because we didn't create something called rigid link so what is rigid link rigid link is very important feature here in my desk GTS and X because in the initial stages we will ha not have the interface so if we just logged here we will find that this is node we will select by uh, nodes so if we select here we will find this is two nodes or three nodes actually one from this element one from this element one for, from the interface because he separated everything so now we have to include rigid link for the initial stage to simulate the distance between this element and this element before we add the sheet pile so we will go back here and we will go to uh, interface and we will go here to select from beam truss element and we will go here and choose the sheet pile wizard 0.6 okay there is an important feature here create an other element which called rigid link and we say apply cancel so now if we look here we'll find two elements has been created now we go to the initial stage in the initial stage we will add the rigid link and in the next stage we will add with uh, the interface and we will deactivate the rigid link and we say save and this is very important feature you have to include it when you are running your model otherwise it, there will be a problem 
so this is from the important feature you have to know when you are running your model now I'm running my model right now it will take some uh, moments depending on your machine there is an important thing here I didn't do it yet but you have to go to option here and you go to analysis and you know I know my machine has 12 processor so I will say apply and I say ok if I stop this and I run this problem again there will be a significant difference in the run as we can see it's much faster now So I know this is a pretty long uh, tutorial, but we will know a lot about this uh, in some uh, moment. So this is the last case, as we can see, this is the live fluid. Now we will go to see the lateral displacement and we see it increased because of the interface because at the beginning we assumed it's a rigid link but as we can see the lateral displacement has increased to 15 centimeters almost the double value so it's very important to, simul to simulate the interface let's go here and add the let's see the uh, uh, interface here uh, sorry, let's see the bending moment So we can see that bending moment has increased and this is makes sense So we will go to extract and We will choose uh, Beam element force bending moment from the last case element and I will choose the uh, pile and sort them and I say table and just the model just crashed I will open it again I'm just opening the model one more time I will go here to extract the results from extract forces bending moment from the last case nodes sheet pile y table I just need this values and I go to the Excel and I will add it here and I go here and I select data add in x direction I will choose this in y direction I will choose this and as we can see this is cantilever interface and this one can deliver without interface so if we show here the legend here we can see that including the interface it's really affecting the results one last run we will do here in this tutorial is to add an anchor and there are different techniques for including an anchor so for me I will go here to mesh I will open this tutorial and I will go to um, I will go here to an anchor and you can uh, you go to here to boundary condition and 
you can add an anchor and we will see this in the next tutorial but as we can see here in the next video so the law so the video doesn't be too long so we can see here the effect of the interface and how we simulated this in uh, finite element gts in x so uh, we, i will end the tutorial at this uh, point and see you in the next lecture uh, next video thank you